Hi, I'm Daryl Pilper, AIFD, floral designer and visual display artist at Shinoda Design Center. Today I'm going to be showing you a boutique item we're going to be using for our Valentine display, and we're going to show you some really interesting things and techniques on how to put this project together. I'm using a glue pan rather than a glue gun, and I like to use the Oasis glue chips. These are really, really sticky. Glue gun's fine, but I like a glue pan better. I'm really used to it. So again, it's a matter of personal preference. So we have some really neat boxes. This is a fabric box, it's a heart-shaped box. We have two heart-shaped boxes. The first one is $23.98, and the second one is $17.25, both less 40%, great discount. We're gonna do the large one today. So this is a great little box. You can put little trinkets in. It'd be beautiful to put a floral arrangement in, take the lid off, put a liner inside, floral arrangement, the lid set off to the side. Wonderful little keepsake after the holiday is over. So because this is fabric, this is going to be a great way to stick flowers on it. The flowers are going to hold really well. I'm going to use some beautiful silk roses. I'm going to cut the stems. I'm going to save all the foliage too. Foliage is going to add a nice little touch, a little bit of greenery. Put our glue on the back of our rose. So fabric to fabric, this is going to really stick really well. The top of this box has already got a jewel on it, It's already, and I'm already covering it up, but you'll see later it's going to get even better. I'm going to use red first. And I'm going to put a little ribbon in the middle of this just to add a little glitz to it. And I didn't want to use a uh, Valentine ribbon because I just thought the red ribbon that just had a little bit of glitz, it doesn't just scream Valentine's Day. So if you want to use it afterwards, you can leave it out. Just a little teeny hint of ribbon. I'll put our wire through. Twist. This has got wire already in the ribbon, which I love. Makes it easier to make a bow, make it really pretty. So now we're going to, oh, it's already got a dovetail on the end. Wasn't that easy? Okay. A little bit of glue on the back. You know what? Notice on here, I've got a little bit of glue strands on uh, my piece. After you're done with the project, you can take a hair dryer and blow it all over your piece on the back of it, and it removes all the hot glue strands that are on. You don't want to put out a project that's got glue all over it. It really makes you look like an amateur. We don't want that. Okay, now we're going to put some pink ones in. I love a little bit of pink with Valentine colors. Pink, white, and red. Very fun. I'm having a little bit of the roses kind of up and down on this. I don't want the whole just, uh, floral arrangement on here to look like it's all smashed. So we're doing a little bit of elevation. Here's what we've got going so far. Remember to save all your leaves. You may, you may not use them on this project, but you may use them on another one. Now we're gonna add a little white. I love these. These are little garden roses and they have uh, the centers of them kind of open like a garden rose would be. There's there. I'm gonna take a wire. I'm gonna run it underneath the floral display that I've already put on the top. And we're gonna put this really cute little Valentine heart medallion on. Just weave it right on through. One more leaf and I think we're finished. Okay, and here's our little Valentine heart. And here's our finished product, our little heart-shaped box with a sweet little heart hanging off the bottom. Thanks for being with us, and stay tuned for more designs from Shinoda Design Center.